This is putting the theory as we teach it in the classroom and getting students to practice it. And the fact of bringing other partners into the project makes it all that much stronger. So thank you very much uh, for coming. I'm personally extremely thrilled uh, about this project and to see a future shop, and I wish they were here, I'd really say that nice with them, because what, they're, what they've done is enabled our students to have access to a high quality digital instrumentation sensor. This but allow, allow our teachers and students to, uh, to do things that people like me who studied uh, remote, uh, remote sensing and digital uh, mapping in the 1980s uh, didn't even dream of. We've done this project uh, for my uh, fuel station. So this is the uh, evaluation of the bike routes in Saint Laurent. And then we went out with the Future Shop uh, GIS enabled uh, cameras, basically allowed us to uh, take pictures and then put them directly onto the map like this. So they're really easy to see and they, uh, because they're GPS enabled, they go directly onto the map. Um, say you go out in the field and you take 200 pictures in a day, it's hard to remember exactly where they were. So with the GPS enabled camera, you can take a whole bunch of pictures and then the camera will remember where you were and it'll be easy to place it back onto the map. And how the camera was able to benefit the the people in Gore it's because we got to go in there and show them what was really around them and what was really in their land. The field station we do a lot of, well our main goal is field work around the, the Gore County um, and we've been given um, a camp, well the money to purchase a camera by Future Shop and this camera is GPS enabled um, so it allows us to go into the field while we're working on our various projects and take pictures of what we're doing and the GPS aspect of the camera lets us put the pictures right into GIS which is a, a computer mapping program. Um, so the project is basically the we were approached by the township of Gore to go visit this lake that the aquatic vegetation was increasing. So we wanted to compare the past years with this year and how it's growing constantly. So in the map here you see it, how the different years is constantly growing. And uh, with the cameras that they were given to us from Future Shop, we could go on the field and take pictures of different types of aquatic vegetation and take them back to the lab and ID them. It's new. Uh, it's something the students are already a bit familiar with. They're familiar with taking pictures. We're familiar in the program to train students on uh, geographic information systems and using GPS technology in the classroom pedagogically. But now we're um, bridging uh, of what the students already know from cameras and photography and uh, geographic uh, reality. I think the history since then has proven us right. If you look at many, many jobs for advertisements for students like ours, they'll include geospatial skills. I'm convinced that in the very near future, it's going to be one of those skill sets employers are going to expect as they expect office capability now. They don't even ask you if you can use office, they assume you can use office. It's going to be the same thing with this type of technology. I'm going to be graduating within the next year. Once I graduate, I hope to go to university, but this program allows me to have um, a career while going to university. I plan on working as a field technician for the four years or however long I'll be in university for. ...for their generous contribution to the teaching of geographical information systems as part of the Environmental and Wildlife Management Program, December 4th, 2013.